Race 14 starters lining up in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. It is post time. Vance Cameron, it's been a real heck of a night of racing. A lot of exciting races. Let's do it one more time. And we're going to do it one more time in the announcer's nightmare fog. Lining up coast to coast, Shark Hemingway, Usurper, Blue Monk, Mick Dundee, Unique Beach, Good Eye, Hawkeye, Pillage Burn with that claim entered. It's the Saturday night finale post time. The rough and pacing Blue Monk is leaving alongside Mick Dundee into the turn at the rail. Coast to Coast Shark third, away wide on the turn fourth. That's Pillage and Burn. Moving into fifth as they race round the turn and get straightened up the back stretch. Up front, they're three wide and they're all around the turn and they're headed to the back stretch. Coast to Coast Shark at the rail, the leader. Blue Monk right alongside second, racing from third. Village and Burn. Mick Dundee backed off to race it at a fourth. They're on past that opening quarter, and as they move to the upper turn for the first time, the quarter mile is up, and they were there in 20. Nine and one, coast to coast, shark at nine to one, found himself in the front. Racing second, that's Blue Monk, Pillage and Burn will come out of the turn, racing third. Here comes the backfield now. They start in motion. Usurper is first up and coming after the leader at the midway point, and now he's gone off stride. Usurper on the run. Out in front, coast to coast, shark, second, that's Blue Monk. Here comes Good Eye Hawkeye, up to take over third. Pillage and Burn. He's riding the rail for it. The opening half mile was 59 and 4. Three eighths of a mile left to go. And coast to coast, Shark and Devin Wallace still there. Good eye, Hawkeye. Right alongside the leader now. Racing from third is Blue Monk. Fourth on the outside. That is Unique Beach. He's getting into it late. They go past the three quarters now. They're on that turn for the final time. Going to the 7 8. Coast. Coast to Coast Shark, three quarters of a mile in 130 and one. They're about to come out of the fog and they'll be in the home stretch here in the Saturday night finale. Coast to Coast Shark coming late on the outside here at Blue Monk. Here's the line. Blue Monk doubles up McPherson. Second is Coast to Coast Shark. Pillage and burn. He rallies up the inside. Third, 159 and one. Well, Kurt, uh, let's tip the hat to Vance there for uh, an awesome call in the fog as we see yeah. Blue Monk getting up here late. I think it's hard to describe the replay, and uh, Vance did an awesome job with the call. But, uh, again, Corey late with Blue Monk uh, really finished up strong here in the lane tonight as we get a bit of a slow-mo here halfway down the stretch. Yeah, we're getting a look at the slow-mo here as they come out of the fog. Great call by Vance. Uh, calling races is the toughest job in harness racing on a good night. And in the fog, he did a terrific job here. But how about these young kids, Brady Sweet in the last race and now Devin Wallace in this race. Using the rail, they played hardball. Usurper came brushing, but he rolled off stride. Coast to Coast Shark up for the battle. But how about Blue Monk watching it all take place and he rallies down the stretch to get it done for McPherson. Uh, Devin Wallace and Coast to Coast Shark, they do get the deuce in here. But Corey McPherson uh, closes down Charlottetown with the win on Blue Monk here on the 14th. Here comes Blue Monk into the 14th race winner's circle. Bay Pace and Gelding, four years by up the credit off the Real Desire Dam, Real Heart, 
Owned by Mary Jean Noy from Clyde River and Denise Andrew, Calgary, Alberta. Trained by Jay Noy and driven to victory by Corey McPherson for Corey's second winner on the night for the double. Mile 159-1, Blue Monk in the nightcap. <laughs> 